Touchdown, Tiger! The shot is up. It's a free ball for the Tiger. I believe it was about 2008 at his first uh, sports clinic in Irvine, California. And then soon after um, the clinic was done, I sent an email to him. Well, that email lasted about for about three months before I heard back from him. And then that phone call ended up lasting about six months. Uh, and about month seven, uh, it turned into a formal interview where uh, he called me at six in the morning and we met and that started the relationship uh, in about 2010. And I was very thankful for that opportunity to work under Dennis. Uh, my first encounter with Dennis was in the press box and we just talked about the program. He talked about the program and uh, the options that I had to come to RCC and uh, I was just kind of blown away at the conversation. Not, it was just, it was, after five minutes, it was past baseball. It was, in other words, hey, this is what the program's going to be about, this is what we expect from you. But then it got into more about responsibility, personal about accountability. Like this is, this is a, I know he's a serious baseball person, but it goes beyond, beyond the baseball. Just, uh, he had that presence about him that, that kind of made you a little nervous nervous when you're around him, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. As a high school baseball player, I knew Riverside City College was a, it was a well-renowned program, and I essentially begged Dennis to let me into the program. I wrote him letters, and Dennis was always known as a coach that, that was revered by everyone within the area. And so playing for him in the early 90s, was very different than coaching with him in the late 90s, coaching with him in the mid 2000s, and then coaching with him in the you know early you know 2010, 2014. So he always was intense, but he has a more quiet intensity about him nowadays. Um, and he leads by example. He's going to set the tempo, and he's going to outwork and, and and lead the way and create those leadership skills. The players, the coaching staff is right behind him. You're always kind of waiting to see you know if he had a. Uh had something good to say about what you did, but he made you fight for it, you know, which was kind of cool because I think that really um, helped a lot of people understanding that everything you do in life, you got to fight for it. There's, just, there's no handout, you know. I think the one thing that he created was a obviously a, a family. When you when you meet guys that went to RCC, they always have dentist stories. You know. Had the great blessing to come across some of the game's best. Uh, in this generation, both as leaders and players. Uh, Dennis will always be the bar for which I compare other people to, whether he's on the collegiate level and I'm here on the major league level. Uh, I watch what Dennis has done, and it's baseball 24-7, 365. It's always a thought about how to make somebody better. Um, well, he's always talked about how people are his legacy, his family's his legacy, the, the players he had influence on are his legacy, and it's about He's always preached this, it's about people first. If you care about an individual, you will work extremely hard for them and they will be, they become your legacy. So the people that I coach and the people that I influence, I feel are an extension of his legacy. So I think my ability to make people feel like they can do anything professionally or they can do anything academically, I think it is a tribute to how he made me feel as a player and coach. I carry that as one of the most virtuous things I can learn. Dennis, on behalf of Carol, Brandon, myself, and literally thousands of other people, I want to congratulate you on this well-deserved honor tonight. I know you'd rather be sitting in the audience honoring anybody else other than watching yourself uh, have all these great things said about you, but accept the thoughtfulness and the caring and compassion that's coming from so many of your friends and former players and colleagues, uh, because this is a this is an honor that means a great deal to them uh, and something that's long overdue. So congratulations to yourself, the Rogers family, and continued best wishes.